I saw this arresting painting by Luke Timons at the Museum of Contemporary Arts Retrospective here in Chicago. It's relatively small, about 24 by 28 inches, and it attracted my eye because it exemplifies what I like about this painter and about painting in general. A simple, mysterious brown shape crosses the middle of the picture from the right. It lies on a ground painted with brown, yellow and white, so that the upper half is a dirty greenish colour, the lower half more ochre. The brushwork is tentative, yet exploratory, producing the sensation that the artist wants to find out what the picture is, even as he is painting it. It appears to represent something, maybe an animal seen from above, but it hovers on the edge of abstraction. That mystery is part of its effect, though if I had wanted to retain that feeling, I shouldn't have read the textual interpretation of the curators and the artist himself. Apparently this image derives from a photo of two gloved hands, palms upwards, holding a piece of broken chalk. The chalk is supposed to be something to do with the history of one of the dictators of the Belgian Congo. Timons, who is Belgian, created a series of paintings which supposedly investigate this history in visual terms. I say supposedly because this explanation of the painting chalk is impossible to derive from merely looking at the picture. We expect museum curators to talk garbage, of course, but even the painter himself talks about this rot as if it were self-evident. It's further proof that the artist is not necessarily the best judge of his own work, and that painting, in particular, cannot be reduced to mere intellectual content. <laughs>